Hello, it's me, Bob, Bilbo Bob, and today I am doing some arc, as you can see. Um, yes, taming a basilisk, that's the one. Uh, the big snake thing on aberration. You might be wondering if we're taming the snake thing on aberration, why am I here? Because I've got all my stuff here, so yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've got some Allosauruses that I was gifted by some friends of mine, very nice, some people on the server who I know. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, they're just gonna be like guard dogs, pretty much. Got them on aggressors. I mean, if anyone comes here, they'll tear them apart limb from limb. It's a bit of lag there, right? So let's get into it. Uh, basilisks, this is why you clicked on the video, isn't it? Assuming this thing ever actually happens. Uh, so you're gonna need rock drag eggs because that's their food. To my belief, the level of the egg doesn't make a difference of how well it tames. I do, however, most of my legs are high level. Most of my eggs, even not legs, are high av high level eggs, except for my one level 15. So I will probably test it out to see if it makes a difference, but I don't think it does, as far as I know. Also, what, I'm, what you're gonna need is basilisk saddle which isn't too difficult to make as long as you've got green gems so it's pretty easy really uh past the amount of metal you need really are uh, you gonna need a um rock drake because if you're taming these you need rock drake eggs because the only other kind of egg is magnosaur eggs which are on genesis so you're going to be using rock drake eggs so if you're feeding a basilisk rock drake eggs, you're gonna have a rock drake. So I'm doing this tutorial with a rock drake. So that's a fact. You're gonna be using one. And it's also best to use rock drakes because they won't aggro to you if you're on a rock drake. So that makes it a lot easier to actually tame them. So let's get some food for my rock drake. Um You're also gonna need a glow pet because you're going into the blue zone. And I've got a wonderful shine horn here. Absolutely adorable, aren't they? Turn his light on. He's adorable, isn't he? Yes. Uh, yeah, I've got a shine horn because you know you need a glow pal of some kind. Take a bulb dog or anything will do, really. Uh, stop nameless from spawning when you're taming it. Um, you might have noticed I've got a gas mask. That is purely for. I'm not going to be using it. But I'll bring it just in case I do need it, which I shouldn't if I'm going to be on the rock drake. But the way the gas mask works is the um, basilisks, basilisks, similar to the poison wyverns, can shoot like poison at you that will kill you even if you're in your aim. So if you wear a gas mask, you won't die, pretty much. It's the way it works. So you shouldn't need it though, as long as you stay on your rock drake, you should be fine. But I'm going to bring it just in case. I probably won't use it because I understand that... They can be a pain to make, like getting absorbent substrate and all that stuff isn't easy, so I, that's why I probably won't be using it, but for people who have that kind of stuff, yeah, good idea to bring it just in case. Uh, in terms of rock drake eggs, I'm bringing about six. Shouldn't need six. Think I'll need about, I don't know how much I need, bear in mind service slightly boosted, so I'd take, I don't know, like a dozen and tame a couple really, see how far you get. But server, um, the server's taming speed is slightly boosted, so I shouldn't need more than six eggs. Um, thinking what else? Uh, I don't think there's much else. I'll get back to you, I guess, when I get a rock drake egg. Yeah, I think that's about all I've got to say. Not rock drake egg. I'm really tired. When I have a b -b -b basilisk, that's the word. Yes, so get back to you then. Right, I'm back. So, yeah, these are the things I was talking about. The um, aquatic mushrooms. Uh, pretty much, if you get um, in a spore cloud or if you get infected by one of them mushrooms and you get freezing spores, you'll know and you just eat these mushrooms and you should be fine, pretty much. Um, as far as I know, you don't need hazard suits. You will be going in the blue zone though, so I'd recommend taking like some picks or like a glider or something like that. I'm just going to take a couple picks just in case. Uh, yeah. 
Right, let's move on. I will get back to you when I find a decent... When I find my first thing. Basilisk. Yeah. Haven't found anything yet. Been looking for a while. But this... You see these blue spores here? This is what I'm talking about, yeah? So I'm going to walk into them just to show you. But I'll walk over to that way. So, you get freezing spores, yeah? And if you look, your health will start to drop and you will die from it. Unless, if you eat mushrooms, you look in the bottom right, your timer decreases quicker and you get a shield from it. So as long as that timer still goes, you should be fine. So now I will... Hmm. Okay, you just got to eat it to reduce, I think. You just got to eat a bunch of it till it reduces it because it doesn't stop your health from falling by the looks of it. But well, that's all you gotta do. So be careful, it's about 20 per time. So make sure you bring a few. Alright. I will get back to you when I find one, hopefully. Right, I'm back. And I have found a basilisk. So this one's already up. So I don't need to worry about, like, getting it up. Because you can't actually spyglass them when they're burrowed. And you can just see their tails, so little three prongs. Uh, I'm going to check his level before seeing if he's good to tame. If it's not worth taming, I won't bother if I can... Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get off my tame because it's a lot easier. Yep, not worth level 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill it. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's risky though because obviously it's blasting. See, there that damaged me so it's how poison weapon works. Right, not much here. I will still show you my quads because they do tend to spawn in this area from what I understand. So, 53 by 69 and here I am. Or oh, 68, I can't really tell off the top of my head. So yeah, around this area they seem to spawn a lot. So yeah. Um, they, you also do get, like, the old one that spawns by the portal area, but it's never a very high level, so I wouldn't recommend bothering to tame it, because if you tame it, you want to tame a decent one, or at least I do. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when I find another one. Right, so I'm back, and from what I can tell, this area... Well, so what I, from what I can tell, this area around here, so like all down here where like the blue and the purple areas kind of border each other, it seems to be the best place. I've been, it's been a while now, I actually, first part I recorded, this is the second part kind of, first part I recorded earlier today, and I kind of gave up, and so I've come back a bit later to see if I had some better luck. So far... I found high level 10s. Highest I found is level 25, so still not that good. There's one here. Right, tell you what. I'll show you how to do it, even if this guy isn't a good level. Right, so right now it's not aggroing on me. When it aggroes, it will shoot up. So, what you want to do is you want to kill anything off in the area it might aggro to. So, I don't think it'll aggro to these, so I don't have a problem with it, but it might aggro to that Iguanodon. So, and the roll rat, so we'll kill them, and then we can start taming it, assuming it's a level worth taming. Right, should kill you. Yeah, I've really leveled this guy up for melee damage and health more than anything else, so he's pretty tanky. Right, so, there are two ways, you can't check his level to my belief, I might be wrong, but you can't check his level whilst on a spyglass, see? nothing appears so what you got to do is aggro it or get it to rise so there's two ways of doing that if you can drop a rock drake egg and it'll it'll come up to eat it but i'm not going to do that i'm going to kill these though and i'll tell you why so i'm not going to drop a rock drake egg if i do that then one less egg and if it's a bad level it wouldn't be worth it anyway so yeah so what i'm going to do i'm not going to attack it because I might want to tame it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get reasonable distance away. I'm going to jump off my tame. 
then it all surfaced, then I can look at it with my spyglass, see it's level. If it's good level, I'll run off, let it burrow again, then I'll start taming it, and if not, I'll just kill it. So watch. you got to be quick, though, because it will raise very quickly. Once in aggro. Level 10, so that's not a very good level, it's not worth taming. Right, let's try and dodge its blast. It's um, venom stuff, because it will kill me. See, my health does go down. If I move back, it's not as bad as long as I'm moving back. So this area is definitely, in my opinion, the best area. It's like where the blue and purple areas border. It's the best area for um, finding basilisks. But down by the portal area, because I was down there earlier, there's always going to be one basilisk. So if you see one, you don't like the level of it, kill it. Go around here. If you can't find any, go back to the portal. And if you see a decent level, if one's spawned in yet, tame it. If not, just kill it and go back. come back later. Because there's always going to be one spawns in that area. Right. I will get back to you when I find one, however long that may be. Another area that's always got a basilisk in it is around here. I know this from when I was on official and I made a base here and there's an annoying basilisk. But about here, latitudes 33-ish, longitude 30. Oh yeah, I have a thingy, don't I? So yeah, latitude 33, longitude 31. This area's always got a basilisk nearby. So it's level 15 up there. I'm not going to tame it. Oh, it's dead. Wow. That was a bit disappointing. What killed you? Wow, that's really disappointing. Couldn't have been that good then. 3,000 health. Yeah. Well, take the trophy, I guess. Well, wow, that's disappointing. <laughs> right, come on. Let's go. Moving on, I guess. I'm heading to the portal to see if, um, portal area, to see if I've got any other tames, or if not, I've got any tames, if any other basilisks have popped up there. Hopefully, I'll have some luck. Right, I'm back. Doesn't look like another basilisk has spawned here yet. I mean, it's only 10 minutes ago. But this is the portal area, in case you were wondering. Literally the first spawn point. Like, um, yeah, where you can spawn in on the map. So, most people know it is anyway. Uh, right, I think I'm going to head back to the blue area, purple area border. So, run along there, see if I can find some in. I've noticed that there only ever seem to be low level basilisks. The highest I've seen was actually here, and it was level 25. So, I th I'm not going to go for a really high tame, because I don't think I'll be able to get one, unfortunately. But I'll just go for what I can get. Right, get back to you when I get somewhere. Right, I'm back. And I have tamed one. Well, I haven't tamed one, but I've found one. It's level 20, not the best, but at this point, it's probably the highest I'm going to get by the looks of how things have gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him unaggro. See, nice and easy. It's not that difficult at all. Now, luckily there's nothing around that should disturb him or um, grab his attention, unless he falls down there. Let's hope he doesn't. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I have an egg, I'm going to drop it. To my belief, the level of the egg doesn't make a difference. Let's see if he... No, does it have to be from... Does it have to be closer? Come on. I think I have to aggro him so he eats the egg. How about if I try dropping it from the rock drake? How's that? No? Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop all the eggs, aggro him. Oh, it seems to be aggroed already. Right. 
So I'm gonna do. I can tank tank a couple hits. Hopefully this won't hurt the eggs. Right, got them all down. Now I need to get his attention. I think. Right, come on. And you want the eggs? Shouldn't be damaging the eggs. Now why aren't you eating the eggs? Come on. No? Okay, he doesn't want the eggs. Right, let's try this again. I've never tamed a basilisk before. And I haven't done all that much in the way of looking at videos on how to tame him. So, this is very much hearsay how I'm doing this. Right, if I go out of his reach, to drop an egg down. Will you want it? Or not? No, I don't think he will. Right, I'm going to get back to you when I figure out what I'm doing. Right, I'm back. So, from what I gather... Right, I'm going to leave my rock drake over here. And I think I've got to run around and get him moving so he eats the eggs. So I think I've got to do. So what I'm going to do, grab this egg. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, he's right there. These things are terrifying. Right, run, 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 run. This wasn't a good idea, doing this on foot, was it? Right. Eat an egg. Eat an egg. These things will also up your torpedity. He's scary. Yeah, this isn't working by the looks of it. Oh! There you go. One time tame. Wow. <laughs> that was easy. What are your stats like? Okay, they're not very good. Um, yeah, I guess it's a pretty low level. Don't know what I was expecting. Well, yeah, so pretty much you need to get it to run around. So how you choose to do that is your choice. You can be on the rock, Drake. And, wait, let me just get my rock, Drake. So what your choices are for getting this guy to move around, because that's how you're going to tame him, by getting him to move around, is you can jump on your rock, jump off your rock, Drake, Aggro him out of the ground, jump on, he'll follow you for a bit, then he'll go on the ground and you can just repeat that, rinse and repeat. That would do the trick on its own, really. Um, I only took one egg because it's high taming, uh, boosted taming, and it's like, you know, pretty low level anyway. Alright, let's give this thing a go, these things are massive. Right, so L2 shoots poison. Very accurate poison shooting. Not far better than a poison wyvern, if you ask me. Hmm. R three seems to be a bite. So does so does R two. How do you go underground? I don't know. Well, yeah. Looks like this is how you tame basilisk. Yeah. Honestly, I wasn't very sure of this myself, and I didn't know how this video would turn out considering I myself have never tamed a basilisk and haven't done much in the way of tutorials on how to do it either. But overall that wasn't too bad. Oh, I got a level. Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. Right. Um, thank you for watching. Uh... Right, yeah, let's stop playing around on this thing and actually, like, finish up the video first might be a good idea. 
Right, I got a bunch of rock drake eggs, so I'll probably tame a couple more high levels, but you know what, 20 will be uh, good enough, considering I just, I'd been here all day. I could have got 25, but you know what, I don't really care. I'm just happy to have something so I can finally finish. I honestly don't know how this video is going to turn out, having spent so long trying to record it, so hopefully it will go well, but there's no saying. To my belief, you can't breed basilisks, so the only way to get them is by taming them. Um, yeah. Poison mask does, or the gas mask does work, and I'll show you, because I think this works the same way as poison wyvern. Yeah, if you, if you see that, I'm losing damage as I walk into its um, cloud thing, yeah? But, if I were to wear this gas mask, it will protect the wearer against various airborne poisons. Including, I can sit in this field as long as I like, and nothing wrong happens. Because I'm wearing the gas mask. So yeah, that's handy. So yeah. Uh, it works, it's only got so much, um, so much um, durability, so yeah. Absorbent strub substrate and sand isn't easy to get. I forget how you get off the top of my head, I think it's something to do with the ocean for some reason. But, yeah, if you can get it, I'd recommend it, because it will make it a lot easier. Uh, your best bet is to do it on a rock drake, because it don't aggro on you. I mean, you still want it to aggro, kind of, I guess, because they need to be moving around for you to tame them. So, yeah. Right. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe or don't or something. I will try and cut this video to make it as short as possible so you get all the important parts in. Uh, I'm sorry for going on and on and on. I'm really tired. I've been doing this all day, really, for about... must have been recording for at least two hours now trying to find this because I've had about a dozen, I think. So, yeah, best areas are the portal area, which is there. Um, the other area I said earlier, there's always one. And down there, by like the border between the blue zone and the red zone, there's always about three or four down there. Uh, so yeah, if you can't find any decent levels, just kill the ones that are there, and soon enough some better ones will spawn. So I'm going to be spending a few days, I reckon, just taming Bastus so I can get a decent level one now. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.